Daphne Sequeira, a, a choir leader of Don Bosco Choir Panjim. Yes. Tell us about your past musical experiences. Uh, how many years here and before this? In here, 28 years. Wow, that's long time. Yes. And before that? Bombay? No, Bombay no. I was in Himachal. So I had around Shimla? Four, four years I was there. Which church? I don't even know the name of the church. Okay. Anglican or? No, no, Catholic. Okay. Yeah. They so, have some beautiful churches there. Yes. So I trained the school children there and took them to sing there. 28 years, how has the journey been? Highs and the lows? The highs and the lows. Now the highs were, the first time like father asked me to do it, it was like sort of, I don't have anyone. Father told me first try the join another group. Then it was like, I won't be able to do it. I want it alone with my children. Then I told father, it's not happening. Then he said, teach the Sunday children in the, night, in the evening mass. Then they gave me the cold shoulder. So I told father, it's not working out, forget it. And he says, why? Teach my border boys. So I began teaching the boarders. In that time, they were around 35. And every Wednesday, I used to come, teach them for one hour. And then from the scratch? From scratch, ABC, breathing. I had to teach them to breathe first because they didn't know the phrasing. So every time it was like I'm teaching them one phrase and it's going into the next one without the proper breath. So I had to sing line for line, word for word, note for note. But it was a very good experience because I came in with a mind that these 30 or 35 are going out and those 35 will teach maybe 350 or 3000. They go out, they are not here. So that was the reason which I said, Lord, you've given it to me. I need to do it. Today it's grown into a big, uh, big tree. Yes. And slowly, and the first time I sang with the children, I gave them to, to the mass was for an ordination. And the ordination in two part harmony I did. Just there, the boys. Two, I divided them and I sang the third part and I played. There was a brother who played the guitar also. So it sounded nice. People were wondering from where this choir came. It didn't fall from nowhere. But uh, what's the qualification to join if someone wants to? It's open or what? It's open. They just need to pitch correctly. Not even read music? Okay. Nothing. I teach them from scratch. Even now, and at least now there are some, you have this technology today which you record and they can learn it. But 25 and 28 years back, there was nothing. I used to come every day, especially for Holy Week. I used to start one week after New Year. Wow. And every day I used to come. Which are the choirs in Goa you rate highly? Mm. To tell you the fact, no, I have not even listened. Okay. I like Stuti choir. They are good. I've heard them. And then I heard uh, this one. Nigel was there before. Yeah. I used to, I liked his. And uh, then it was the university choir. They were good. I mean, I felt like, you know, I'm going to another level. Yeah, two minutes. I had to go to another level Yeah. with the music. So then I used to always wonder how I'm going to do this now. But these are all small ones. And uh, two years back, just before the lockdown, we got an invitation to sing at the NPCA, wow. NCPA in Bombay. National Centre for Performing Arts. Yes. I don't know Prestigious. How, maybe, whatever. But for me, it was like out of the blues. How much you all deserve it. it. You all deserve much more. No, then I didn't have children because this was only children's okay. choir. Anyway, Christopher recommended Futados. Futados. Then I went to every school in the wow. vicinity. I went to Rosaries, I went to Don Bosco's, oh, and then I asked Red Rosary, the principal, I said, only thing I forgot, Mary Macaulay School, where I think I lost some singers from there. But anyway, I had all those 40 names, which I, I segregated into the different parts, because only children, then we have three boys, how many? Yeah. I had it in my bag and then this pandemic came. No one no one looks at the story behind the story. And then they 
just did not come up right his parents were more I, I, I believe them that they couldn't help yeah. it and I took a lot of trouble to get the pieces because it was a theme that I had to sing I'm interrupting your practice so I feel bad but I have to talk to you at much more length in a time when you're more relaxed after the holy week is over but one last question today yes, tell, tell us about your music teachers and your learning my music teachers my dad was my music teacher Bombay Bombay yeah. you grew up in Bombay yes. Bombay Goan Bombay I was an East I'm an East Indian I see which is one community gems gems yeah, whatever and so, East Indians also are big time into music yes Bandra uh, no Malad Malad yeah. and uh, there when I was in school my uncle used to teach us which school uh, Kamal of St. Joseph convent and we used to have these operas you know yeah so he used to teach us Oliver Twist. 70s we are talking about or 80s or 60s? 70s, 70s 60 early? Plus, 60, uh, late 60s. Yeah, late 60s, early 70s. Those were the days of operas. Yeah. So we had all school children. So then I would learn soprano because I am a soprano. I would finish learning. It's, you know, go and join the alto. Finish alto, go tenor, go bass. But I said that was a helping and a stepping stone for me to teach others. Music is a big thing in the GEMS community and it's a big blessing. I'm really grateful for the job you all are doing. I must come back but I won't interrupt your session today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Frederick. God bless you.